speaker. Proceeding further, may I please have the pleasure of inviting Dr. Ashok Ajmera, who is the Chairman and Managing Director of Achcon Global Services Limited. He has extensive corporate expertise in broking and execution transactions in investment banking, spanning over 35 years. He is a Chartered Accountant and International Trainer and a Capital Market Expert. He has over 2,500 interviews on capital markets to his credit, including Z, Star, NDTV, BBC, CNBC, and Avaaz, Bloomberg TV, DD News, Sahara, Archduck, and Headlines Today. Well, that's quite a lot. He has given about 300 training sessions for JCs, Lion, Rotarians, corporation, banks, and educational institutions. He is a current member of Rotary Club of Bombay and the Broker Forum, Government of Maharashtra awarded him the Outstanding Zonal President, Chapter President and JC's Management Man of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dr. Ajmera. Thank you for such a nice introduction. I wish my wife would have been here because she doesn't know all this. Can we, or, uh, yeah, so capital market. The subject originally was wealth creation through capital market, but a word was added subsequently, accessing capital market. So you know, but even why to access capital market? Let us know what is capital market and why should you go into that market? So look, whatever has happened, you know, in 1979, when Sensex started at the base of 100, after 10 years, 1,000, next five years, 10 years, 5,000. And in between, what happened? Rajiv Gandhi assassination, Dr. Manmohan Singh doing opening up the economy, Harshad Mehta came, Mumbai blast, Kargil war, technology boom, Ketan Parik came. So many happenings whether negative or positive, UPA 1, UPA 2, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi coming in, and Bombay blast, so many parliament attack, 9-11. But look at this market. There are blips whenever any such thing is, things are happening either negative or positive, this market responded to everything for a short time and kept its upward journey on. So a hundred rupees, like a base of hundred, in 1979 is 60,000 rupees today. Maybe now because of this another war, it has come down little bit. But this is why everyone should come to the capital market, whether as an investor or whether as an industrialist, MSME people, SME people, either you access money from the market or you invest money in the market in those companies, but either way you will make money. Can we... Yes, I think uh, it is. Why India and where are we going to go? Look at it. Russia crossed 2000 per capita in 2001 and it grew 3.2 times in next five years. China in 2006 and thereafter it grew 
six times in next five years. Now, China saw 1.5 times growth in bathing and shower, bath and shower category, and 25 times growth in cosmetic and skin care. What is Nike? Why have you given more than one lakh crore valuation that day to Nike? It is a signal that India is growing. Per capita is more than two thousand dollar now for us. So why can't we also go grow three to five times in next five years? This is why I say capital market. Look at the companies who have performed, and you have to be also like that only. You have to also build those kind of enterprises, those kind of companies. Look at when Indian capital market total market capitalization was one trillion dollar in two thousand seven. There was Reliance Industries, ONGC, Bharti, NTPC, TCS, Infosys. All these top companies, when it became two trillion in July 2017, Reliance, which was 59 billion market cap, went up to 75 billion market cap. TCS 72 from 30, but continued in the two trillion journey or so. Look at when we became three trillion market. In 21 May 21, Reliance, 174 billion dollar company, TCS continued and Infosys continued again from first to third. One trillion, two trillion, and three trillion. And today, what where they are? 209 billion market cap of Reliance. So this is the kind of the growth which you see. If you are rightly placed in that market, which is known as capital market, see the brands which have been built up. Right from morning, I think you have been listening about. I think as speaker, two, three speaker before. I think Mr. Rajesh was also talking about some brands and this and Reliance was there. But like now, see Titan, HDFC, Bajaj, Finsaro, Asian Paint. Now, Asian Paint, like people say. Why Asian Paint? I would say, what is going to happen to Asian Paint? Okay, today the crude is gone to 120 uh, dollar a barrel. There may be a small blip in the profitability because the raw material will become expensive. But who can beat Asian Paint? There is no one next to it parallel. Maybe 40, 50 percent or 60 percent. Pidelai, Fevi Call. There is no alternative only. so this kind of products and the brands but they are known only if you are there in the market otherwise jungle mein mor nacha kisne dekha what einstein said compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world he who understands it earns it he doesn't pays it my dear friend today is saturday tomorrow is sunday from monday morning start thinking next two days about it that what wonders the compounding can do you put your money into good stocks fundamentally checked and this thing and thereafter for 24 hours that stock that company is giving you the returns even if when you are sleeping and Return over return, return over return, interest over interest, interest over interest, continuously, and this is the effect of compounding only. That hundred rupees becomes sixty thousand rupees. You keep money with yourself. You can't beat even inflation also. So the best thing is to beat inflation. Is to put money. into stocks into equities in the companies which are performing so that it continuously gives you return look at page interest fee 
वॉट फेनॉमेनल रिटर्न इट इज गिवन ए मार्केट केप ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी नाइन क्रोर इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन हैज रीच टू फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी फोर क्रोर एज ऑन मार्च फोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू विच मीन्स एन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ वन लैख रुपीज इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन वुड हैव बिकम वन look at the next so many stories bajaj finsar 1 lakh rupees in 2009 is 1.1 crore 44% cagr look at bajaj finance 14.55 crore on an investment of 1 lakh 75.1% cagr return aishar motor you know in 2003 instead of that royal enfield Which was costing fifty thousand rupees. If you would have bought fifty-two thousand rupees worth of stock of Aishar Motor, how much it would have been? I think six. Here it is uh, in two thousand nine, but it would have been six and half crore today. MRF. A five hundred rupees investment becomes almost ninety thousand rupees. And a one lakh rupees in two thousand nine become forty two point nine lakhs. Where is Ajanta Pharma? Fifty three point zero five percent return. Doctor Reddy's CAGR nineteen point two nine one lakh in two thousand nine. And strong companies. They have built brand. They have built products. Wealth creation in SME companies because you are all. i think the sme i mean mainly the theme whole theme of the entire this two days uh, workshop is msme i think uh, earlier i uh, nse and ajay and uh, these people might have already explained you this uh, i am right from the inception of this sme segment of the bombay stock exchange i am the member of working committee of sme i was there initially when we drafted all the notifications for sebi we wanted liberalization in the guidelines and everything and today you look at it 363 companies in last 10 years they raised only 3841 crores and what it has become 47230 crore of market cap when a average investment must be only 3 and half to 4 years though the story is 10 years this is the market about which i will speak to you now in the next uh, 10 minutes and this is also though directly not necessarily sme but startups i put both of them in the same category because they are all entrepreneurs and look at what kind of valuations don't don't compare uh, 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 uh some of these with the recent uh, happenings because it's an exceptional situation two major things have happened in last two years covid once in 100 years and now the kind of war exceptional where one country is taking over through military altogether another country so these are some absolutely unusual kind of happenings which are going to impact for a short time the markets or everyone for that matter but look at it and this is also after they have fallen from the high prices what you know zomato what you will say he is just taking from somewhere delivery into other person and he had a valuation of 1 lakh crore now it is 63000 crore and your nike Seventy thousand crore market cap. It was a few days back, one lakh crore. And Paytm, also again one lakh twenty thousand lakh crore. Of course, it has now come down to fifty-one thousand crore. But the kind of valuation you look at them. I mean, the kind of money which they have taken from the market for their businesses. And this is all entrepreneurship. This is possible only through the capital market. Otherwise, how you unlock the value? how do you know that it is valued so much valuation is not done by how many bungalows you have the cars you have the jewelry you have valuation world over 
is through your equity investment i will come to that little later here how do you say that mukesh ambani his net worth is 89.7 billion dollar have you counted his bungalow is building here or his cars or his jets or his planes or his property in the native place or gold jewelry or this no this valuation has come simply about the per share valuation of his companies multiply by the number of shares which he holds and this is how the valuation has been arrived similarly gautam adani just two th post 2014 story and look at it and sometime he crosses the first one in between because the market fluctuates radha kishan damani d mart a store we used to visit earlier just like any other kirana store but look at the story which got unfolded the valuation shivnader so this is all possible through the capital market i am trying i mean i am trying to say that why capital market of course this is for the investors uh, you may be also the investors so some of the do's and don'ts when you invest in the capital market or you come to the capital markets uh, we will uh, just uh, move little faster now step by step for your planning sme ipo some point might be repetition because some sme people were here uh, from the exchange were there uh, in the morning but they might not have gone into this kind of details so you know there is a main board the main exchange in the both bombay stock exchange and the national stock exchange and this sme small and medium enterprises platform was brought in by the sebi uh, by a notification 2011 in 12 this exchange started first one was bsc the major difference was that sme for sme the process was made little easier that you per one, once you prepare a document the offer document you need approval and permission of only the stock exchange and not sebi which earlier used to take lot of time and there are some other liberalization that like you know minimum capital you don't have to file quarterly results but you have to give with half yearly results and earlier i mean the net worth is lower as compared to the main exchange the expenses of the issue are lower than the main exchange you have to prepare for the ipo very simple whenever you feel like that you have a good business model in the hand you have already with your own capital with your own friends capital your relatives capital whatever money which you had at your disposal you have built up a good business which requires scalability now but now the resources are limited because suppose you could build up 5 crore rupees or 10 crore rupees of your own on that how much bank loan you will get if you have built up a plant of 5 crore the bank will give you 3 crore or something you are not such an enterprise where immediately today only somebody will come and put in the money so for that this sme platform is there that you you say that okay my net worth is around 3 5 crore rupees i got a good business where i have achieved a turnover or whatever 20 crore 25 crore 50 crore rupees i am making a good handsome profit of 100 1 crore or 1 and 1/2 crore or 3 crore or 5 crore or whatever it is and i am ready now my product is good i am good my company is good my progress so far has been good i want to raise some funds from the market but that is not a loan not as a loan i want to make people as a partner in my business that is the day with your team once you decide you call your board meeting present your plans to the board your own board means internal company you know the closely held company but the company has a board of directors your plan is that you are putting another expansion of 5 crore rupees you want 3 crore rupees for working capital or whatever it is so 8 crore 
uh, you have your own contribution, your own cash generation, you can bring in around 2 crore or so. So 6 crore I want to raise capital and my business, how much it is valued, depending on that only the kind of money I can raise because I don't want to dilute my entire holding of such a company. But minimum 25% you have to give to the market, post-issue equity. So the post-issue equity if suppose becomes say, uh, say 10 crore, then the minimum issue size, size should be two and a half crore. Now at what valuation, at what price, that all depends on your valuation of your business, which your merchant bank and yourself, you do it. So once the board approves, in principle, that yes, we should go ahead about, then you go for appointing a, a merchant banker, just discuss with him, his team, whether it is possible, if everything looks okay, you go to your members, shareholders, which are generally your own family members and some friends initially. Take the approval from them. By the time you get the approval, your documents start getting ready. Your draft prospectus or red herring prospectus or a fixed price prospectus, you start putting all the details in, in, uh, in, that, in, that, in that prospectus. Then you, in between you discuss with the exchange where you are listing, there are two exchanges. One is BSE, BSE SME segment. One is NSE, whose name is Emerge. And then after that, all the following the norms and everything, you in consultation with the merchant, your merchant maker in consultation will you, with you, will appoint all the other market intermediaries like your printer of stationery of the issue, the public relation, the PR, the advertisement who will issue, uh, the registrar and transfer agent. So all those agencies which are required will be appointed in consultation with the merchant banker. And as I told you earlier also for SME, the overall cost is comparatively much less as compared to main board issue. So you know, uh, if it is a 10 crore ru rupees issue, uh, whatever, you know, your merchant banker may charge a fees of anything from 15 lakhs to 25,000, 25 lakh rupees. Uh, your printing, your regulatory things, your exchange filing, your legal advisor appointing, uh, your, re your uh, uh, registrar and transfer agent, all this, all this may together may take about 8, 10 lakh rupees. And uh, with that, you know, that kind of costing, I think you can be ready for that. Only a little problem here for a merchant banker is that an a, a SME issue is fully underwritten issue. It's a hard underwriting, which means if the issue doesn't get subscribed, it comes on the merchant banker or the underwriters who are there with him. So for that, he has to be very, very confident that this issue will at least be subscribed at least one time. And your business, your standing, your evaluation, all, everything is, I mean, looking very good. And that's how, that's after that only he goes ahead with the, with the issue. This is one of the main stumbling block here. These are some criteria which keep changing from time to time. But I think you should have a minimum net worth of three crores. Your business should be for three years. Out of that two years should be a profitable business. But if it is not, there are certain other ways. There is a separate uh, criteria for the startup companies. So you have to meet a very simple criteria for any, any SME person who is sitting in this hall. Important that you should not be a BIFR company or a SIG company. No petition of winding up should have been there on you. No material regulatory action, disciplinary actions by any stock exchange or CB, which generally in case of all these young entrepreneurs is not a problem. How the listing helps? It helps you raising the capital. It's not a loan. It increases your net worth. Leveraging ratio gets better. On raising, after raising the capital, you can again raise loan. It adds to your credibility. You are a listed company, so you are accountable, you are corporate governed. What 
It's not going forward. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. So, uh, since I have a very limited time, I mean, we can talk offline also. But otherwise, the, uh, what I am going to, what I am basically trying to tell you all is, it's very simple. I mean, I, of course, almost about half of you, if you have a good business of this size, which I have explained, can make an, make an attempt, can try for it, to come and get listed on the stock exchanges. And you know, once you are there, after two years of continuous listing, you can go on the main board also, if you meet certain criteria of minimum paid up capital of 10 crore, minimum market cap of 25 crore, and no regulatory hurdles, you just pass a special resolution, apply for the main board, and once you are on main board, the sky is the limit. That is also not the limit today. So, wish you all the best, all of you. And I am always there, not necessarily as a merchant banker. I am a merchant banker. I brought myself also a few SME issues. We are into capital market, financial market, merchant banker, investment bankers, NBFC, market makers. Uh, but that's apart, you can always count on me, you can ask any question, any time, just call me, send me SMS and I am there to give your answers on anything on the listing, either on BSE SME exchange or NSE Emerge. Uh, thank you very much, uh, especially Anil, for having invited me here today. I have a very old relationship with Anil Goyal. I think almost about 30 years, 25 years back when he was doing his chartered accountancy. Uh, uh, he was with me. So thank you very much for having invited me here and thank you everyone. If there is any time for any question. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. We are out of time. Well,